Hello everyone, what's up? It's Dolly and welcome to my channel! So in today's video, I'm doing yet another Ever After High doll unboxing. I have quite a few and I'm so so excited to show you guys. So I don't want to waste too too much time on the intro. I really just want to start cracking these dolls open. So let's get right into it. But first, safety first. <laughs> So the first one I have is right here. I was actually kind of worried about this doll because she comes in this little box and I was really worried because I was like, did I get not what I thought I got? <laughs> I've never had a doll uh, shipped like this in my life. There's nothing wrong with it, by the way. <laughs> I have no issue with how it's shipped as long as she's, you know, comes as how the listing said. I'm gonna be completely okay. But I was like checking to see maybe if I read it wrong and I ordered like an outfit or something like that. I was like, what is like, why is it so tiny? Turns out the doll is in here. <laughs> she's just, you know, bending her legs and that's okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and free her from whatever this is or plastic prison. That took longer than I'd like to admit. <gasps> Here she is though. I got a ginger doll. I love ginger so much. She's one of my favorite dolls. I think she's absolutely adorable. This doll is in pretty good condition as far as I can tell just from my first little look at her. She has gorgeous, gorgeous, huge brown eyes with some purple eyeshadow and these really cute little dots around her eyes. It's literally adorable. She has the cutest little button nose and pink lipstick that look really nice with her beautiful pink hair and bangs her hair is tied back like this I'm probably going to be undoing it unfortunately but her hair looks like it's in really good condition like this looks really nice and it's really good because I got her for $25 which I think is a pretty good price it looks like there's a little bit of a bald patch right here, but it doesn't look like it's something that's going to be impossible to fix. I think just readjusting the way that the hair is lying is just going to hide that. I don't think it's technically a bald patch, but I can see her scalp. She has this blue necklace that just has a little book on it, and she comes in this really cute little pink dress, sparkly pink at the top, and it has this little icing, I believe, detail on it, and it's very pink, and the icing has sprinkles on it, and it's so cute. Cute. <laughs> the print goes all the way around because this isn't a Barbie doll. She also has these really cute little shoes. They have these little books on them and it's like an ice cream cone type thing here with even more icing or maybe like dripping ice cream. I'm not sure, but they're really cute. And I actually used to have this doll in my collection, so I'm really happy that I found her. It seems like all of her articulation works nicely. I don't think she has any loose joints, which is good. I always have to check. Doesn't really seem like any of her joints are loose. Okay, yes! She's basically perfect. I'm so, so happy I was able to get her for just $25. I'm gonna go put her to the side because I'm gonna go clean her up. So let's move on to another doll. This one right here is not an Ever After High doll, but I'm so excited to unbox him. So the story behind this doll is I wanted to get a boy doll, but all of the Ever After High doll boy dolls outside of Hunter were very expensive. I think I was finding a Dexter for almost 40 bucks and an Alistair was like almost 70 or 60. And I was like, <laughs> I'm not spending that much. Like, can y'all be serious right now? I was not willing to spend that much money on one doll at this time in this moment. So I ended up finding this Jackson doll for 25 bucks, which I also think is a really good price. And here he is. And he actually came with clothing, but let's just crack him open because I'm quite excited. Here he is. So obviously he's not wearing the clothes he came in. In fact, this is actually a Barbie shirt. I used to have it for my dolls. Uh, here is what he he looks like he has really intense cheekbones I think that that's kind of a fun little feature but yeah we love 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 the face mold he just has blue eyes with a little eyebrow piercing which I think is pretty fun his hair looks like it's gonna need a nice wash to help bring its volume back but it's just black with a yellow streak right here his outfit like I said earlier is not his outfit he comes in but he has this little gray and checkerboard cardigan type thing with these little green streaks on it and he's wearing this Barbie top that is white and orange with this little fishnet. His pants are gray, they look like this, and it seems to even have a little buckle on it without the belts. I'm not sure what's happening here. And he's wearing these little slip-on sneakers, and they're so cute. I believe this is the yin yang symbol, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> definitely would not be the first time. But yeah, that definitely looks like it was the buckle to a belt that has been cut, and you can see 
that's been cut right here. All of his joints seem like they're okay. They are maybe a little bit loose, but it's not anything too, too crazy. I definitely can work with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them to the side so that I can clean them. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and move on to my other doll. This right here is a Poppy, I believe. But I always mix up Poppy and Holly for like no reason. It's so embarrassing. But we don't have time to talk about how stupid I am. Let's take her out of here. Here she is, my little baggie. Ooh, oh my gosh. Her hair is like super matted, but that's okay because she was in the bag. Her face, guys, look at her face. She's so cute. I literally love Poppy so much. So she has these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bluish green eyes with some purple lipstick and some purple and pink eyeshadow. Her hair is red. She's so cute. Try not to get distracted, but it's in this super cute little bob with this really thick sort of purple streak in it. It's almost half and half, but not quite, but it kind of is low key. Her hair is definitely gonna look good after I brush it out, but it's really not in terrible condition. That's sort of a plus side of like the short haired dolls. I find that their hair is a lot easier to manage. Obviously, there's less of it to manage. <laughs> she also has these really cute earrings. So it's this chain with these little scissors. And on the other ear, it's this little scissor here. She has this really cute little bracelet that has this really nice little added detail. I don't know if you guys can see this purple here, but it's like a hairband with the layers of like the chains that she has. I think that that's awesome. She has this silver gray scarf. It's like one of them huge like infinity scarves. I don't even know if I can call it a scarf. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be though. And it comes off like this because it's just like a big hunk of plastic and her actual dress is actually really cute i love the like fishnet lace what would you call this <laughs> I love the little details though. I think that they're really cute. It's this pink and purple dress and it has this really cute little belt That's like a braid like a braid of hair guys. It's so cute Her dress also has these little braids all over it and it has all these pretty little sparkly silver accents on it It's literally so adorable. I love this doll. I'm so happy. I literally only spent $18 on her too So I love her even more She also comes with these leggings that are black with the same pattern as the sleeve of her dress super cute I like them and these adorable shoes I actually am obsessed with these shoes like these are so cute <laughs> they're like this pink but kind of red I'm not really sure I think it's just like a really intense pink with this really cute little silver heel the back of the heel even has a little scissors kind of iconic to these girlies and yeah there she is I love her so much I'm literally okay I have to say so far she's my favorite one I've unboxed I really thought ginger was gonna be but I don't know this doll's one of them dolls where like she's so cute on camera but like 10 times cuter in person like i cannot even put in towards i love this doll so much now i have to get her sister so i'm gonna go put her to the side to clean her up and now we can move on to what i'm pretty sure is my last doll <laughs> this one i'm so so excited guys you guys have no clue let's crack this open I am a little nervous about this one because they only had one picture in the listing, so I'm super nervous. A tip to eBay sellers, when you're selling something, be sure to get at least four pictures, the front, the side, the back, and the other sides, so that everyone knows what's happening, especially if your description is look at the pictures because there's one picture. What am I supposed to be looking at? But now that I'm done with that little rant, let's see. She looked like she was in good condition in the one picture I saw of her, so let's hope she is. She's $35, so I hope she's in good condition. So here she is. Ah, she's so cute. Let's check the joints first. Nothing seems to lose. Guys, she's in basically perfect condition. Okay, totally worth it. Oh my God. Here she is. Here's Duchess. She is so cute. I'm so happy I have her in my collection. Uh, I really wanted her in my old one and I never got her. So now I officially have her and she's adorable. So, so happy to add her. Duchess has black hair with white streaks and also what seems to be a little pink streak right here. I didn't even notice. I didn't know that was a thing. That is so cute though. I love that. She's even wearing her headband that she came in, which I will definitely be removing because it looks like I'm gonna have to give her hair a little TLC. So she's gonna be losing the headband. Also, I prefer my dolls to look a little bit more modern. So I tend to remove a lot of their Ever After I Doll accessories, um, but that's just me. She has her earrings too. So she must really come like fully accessorized minus the shoes. She doesn't have any shoes, but the earrings are feathers and she even has her necklace, which is black and it seems to have this really big little gem in the middle her bracelet is silver with this little pendant is that the word i'm looking for and she even has a ring with 
what I'm pretty sure is a swan, right? Probably, I would imagine. I'm just assuming because it's Duchess. <laughs> um, I didn't even talk about her face. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love her so much. She has pink eyeshadow with these really cute little brown eyes and she has pink lipstick. She's adorable. I know she's not so nice in the show, but I think she's such a pretty doll. Her dress is purple with this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, with this pink tool on it and also this purple tool with these white and black accents, which is really cute. And under it is even, trying not to flash, I'm sorry guys. <gasps> under it is even a skirt with this really cute little pattern on it. Isn't that awesome? Okay, cute. Uh, and the top even has these little ruffles on it. I'm definitely gonna have to wash the dress because up here it seems like it's a little dirty, but I wash clothing no matter what, so it doesn't matter. If it looked dirty, if it looked clean, I would still wash it. She also has these tights that are just black and fishnet. Really happy I got these. These are super cute. And they actually included some added accessories, which I love. She came with this purse that is is this pink with this really cute little pearly color on it and the little swan right there in the middle um and like i said earlier there's this book that they included which i will probably be throwing out i don't really care about this and the final thing they added which thank god because like i always say i love ever after high doll brushes monster high brushes are my favorite because i feel like they're the most sturdy but ever after high doll brushes come close second and ever after high doll brush in silver these are great like i'm always saying so many doll brands will include some flimsy comb that won't even be able to go through the doll's hair ever after high doll monster high did not do that thank god i love getting these so i'm just gonna go clean her up and then i will be back Okay, so it's been some time later and now I can show you all the dolls. It's been a while, it really has. It's been about almost three weeks, I wanna say, since I started filming this. So some of them were wearing their original clothes but then I changed them and I was too lazy to change them just to show you guys how they look right now. So <laughs> I'ma just show you. Let's start with what I think was the first doll I unboxed, which was Ginger, I think. This is how she looks. You can't see her, it wasn't in focus. But this is how she looks after I've washed her. Her hair is huge now, um, but it's okay. It's still nice. I absolutely love her. She's all clean, but she came in really good condition, so I wasn't too, too concerned about that. She's so pretty. She looks really nice. I love her so much. So happy I got her. Like, I'm literally obsessed. Okay, so next, moving on to the one that is my only Monster High I got in this collection it's this Jackson doll he's all cleaned up his hair is still messy I've literally tried to cut it so many times but I'm so scared he's just gonna go bald so I kind of left it so all these hairs sitting up on his head I'm not sure what to do with them I, I cut off a bunch that were like this and ten more show up so <laughs> he, he just has frizzy hair and that's okay so next we have Miss Poppy I always forget which one is which but it's Poppy I put her in this yet again while her clothes are drying and I never changed her so she She's just wearing this Bratz doll outfit with her shoes and everything. Uh, her hair is nice. The doll already was in really good condition, so it's, she doesn't look that different. She's just been washed. I've washed everything. <laughs> and now the one that I just opened like two seconds ago, Miss Duchess, uh, her hair is not completely dry yet. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's almost dry. It's just damp. <laughs> but I put up in this ponytail because I was filming a TikTok and I threw her in this because her dress is literally still wet right now as we speak. And I threw her into this little outfit from a Bratz doll that I actually unboxed on my channel. Can you believe that? So yeah, there they are. Everyone has been unboxed and that is finally the end of my haul. And with that being said, that seems like a good time to wrap this video up. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to go ahead and leave a like. Also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my uploads. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!